We press print screen to open the screenshot tool, and we can resize it and all, which is super nice. But one problem is that we can't do directly annotations. For example, what if we want to share something like that? But perhaps the issue is in that screenshot misses drawing tools. The issue is actually when we take the screenshot. First of all, it is impossibly stupid to get notifications on screenshots. And second, it is stupid enough to get those bubble notifications for anything when you're working on desktop. So most probably you want to have notifications always disabled, so you will never get this pop-up. And by the way, this is some of the full-featured desktop's awful behavior that pushes users to window managers. But if you do get this pop-up, it can either open the screenshot in the file manager, and from there you can reopen it for further editing. Or you can open it with the default image viewer that for now it lacks drawing tools, so we should use some other app for the task like drawing. But at this point you start realizing that all those isn't just a slow workflow, this is actually your GNOME desktop playing a 1930 movie. <laughs> now, we have this new issue created, and that is open from one of GNOME designers, that it basically proposes a custom notification on the bottom right. Let me read it for you. Instead of a regular notification banner which isn't very well suited to this case, it'd be cool to have a custom notification that's mostly just the screenshot itself with a few action buttons as overlays since a taller banner would probably be too disruptive in the center top, and move it to the bottom right. So we have something like this, and the edit button will directly open the image to loop, that it is supposed to have drawing tools. But I'd really like if we had an open with option, and I'll come back to that later. Meanwhile another idea is to give drawing tools directly to print screen interface without need to open a second app. That's not something I personally like, because we'll end up again with poor features and eventually a bad user experience. But I do like the next sketch, that the screenshot tool displays the image size, so we can capture exactly the size we want. Very useful, especially for sharing on socials. Going a bit back, and before Shell's embedded screenshot tool, we have the screenshot app. And when we were getting a screenshot with this app, we again couldn't open it directly with the program we wanted for editing it. For example something like Plasma does with their screenshot tool, that after taking the screenshot we can pick a program to directly open it with. This tool has also annotations and much more, but eventually delivers a bad user experience because of the bad interface. But the point of this video is that GNOME may have obvious and stupid issues, but there are also solutions. What we don't have are contributors, and definitely GNOME strategy should be something more than patches or welcome.